Really good question. Uh, let's put it in context again. Okay. When somebody says the Quran is anti-Semitic, I like cringe. Not because, uh, uh, first of all, not not because not only because it's not true, but it's the exact opposite. Why do I say that? The role model for the Prophet, for the Prophet, in dealing with his community, the role model offered to him more often than anyone else in the Quran is Moses the leader of the Israelites, the classic prophet of the Israelites. He's offered as the role model. Over 70 passages, or not mentioned, 70 passages in the Quran are dedicated to Moses and his people and how he dealt with them and how the believers supported him and how the hypocrites didn't support him within his own community. We're shared, that narrative is shared with the Muslims because we're told you are the closest to them in your legacy. You need to learn from their mistakes and you need to learn from their heroes because you need to be like those who stood by Moses. Right? And all the, the prophets of, of the Israelites are mentioned in this way. The prophet himself, Muhammad, by name, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa is mentioned four times in the Quran. Moses, over 70 passages. So first of all, we look to the, the history of the Israel. The Quran makes us look to the history of the Israelites for tremendous amounts of guidance. The biggest surah of the Quran, half of it is dedicated to the Israelites and their history. And the Quran goes as far as to say, not, and I won't shy from the fact that the Quran criticized when they failed the expectations of their prophet and their messenger Moses, when they failed the expectations of other prophets. But we're not told that so we can look down on that nation and say, ah, they were so messed up. Rather to say, well, that's the mistake they made we need to learn from that and not fall into that trap. Right. That's, that's the only like, lesson to be drawn there. Right? And so even when it's not there, even, even when it's not criticizing, God says things like, Make mention of my favor upon you, sons of Israel. And as I had given you, no doubt about it, I had given you preference over all other nations of the world. Muslims believe they had preference over all other nations of the world. God's grace fell upon them. That's what we actually believe as part of our sacred text. I don't understand how we then could be anti-Semitic. And I, I, I've met Muslims that are anti-Semitic and I don't understand. And the only justification I have is they don't have a relationship with the Qur'an. They don't know what the Qur'an is saying. That's the only way they can think that way. Now, let's talk about the, the ayah in question, the, the statement in question in the Qur'an, don't take the Jews and the Christians. Awliya. Awliya means protective friends. Let's put it in context again. When the Prophet moves to Medina, I told you the struggle in Mecca happened. Right. He moves to Medina. In Medina, he comes into contact with two religious faith communities, the Christians and the Jews. And they, they have now entered into treaties with the Muslims. There's a peace treaty. So if the city is attacked, Muslims, Jews, and Christians are going to defend the city together. That was the treaty. Okay? Those who violated this treaty among the Jews and the Christians, in collaboration with some of the ranks of the Muslims who didn't really have their loyalties with the Muslims, the Qur'an uses the term hypocrites for them. Right. They were considered a criminal element. Muslims finally came into a position of power. And several tribes, key figures of several Jewish tribes, their, and, and Christian tribes, their lack of loyalty to the original treaties had been proven at that point. They had violated the treaty on more than one occasion. Okay. When Muslims were now in a complete position of power, now Medina or, or Mecca has already been conquered, and Muslims are now in absolute control. They, have, they, they control the entire region. God essentially says, do not put them in positions of awliya. Awliya means protective friends. In other words, you have a treaty with them where you're leaving defenses in their hands. They can no longer be trusted with that. Those particular Jews, those particular Christians, because they have violated treaties that already passed. They violated them. They've lost the ability to be trusted. So we cannot enter into those kinds of agreements with them again. The only thing they can be trusted with is protecting each other. Okay. Now, the word friend isn't used, asdiqa, rufaqa, you know, ashab. The, the term used is awliya. Awliya is protective friends, meaning you're in a, in a relationship where you're going to protect the other. That has been stripped from them in that particular context. Again, historical context makes it very clear and simple. And to say, well, that's what the Qur'an says and that's what Muslims believe across without regard to any context, 
that's actually why before Muslims even study the Quran, they study something called the sciences of the Quran. Right? Muslims can't just read a translation and say, I know what the Quran says. No Muslim says that. You know, traditionally, uh, historically, across the board, we say first we study the sciences of the Quran, meaning what are the requisite studies you must have in order to derive the proper conclusions from this text. Right. Uh, last comment about this, which I've mentioned in another video also, is that nobody reads the, the Constitution of the United States cover to cover and says, I got it. I know what it says. No, nobody does that. Why? Because you have to go to law school. You have to understand what each line means. You have to understand the intent of the forefathers, the context of the statement, how it's been applied to legal rulings, etc., etc., etc. Right? Quran served as the constitutional framework for a society. For someone to think they can read the translation and make their own conclusions is a really, really you know, uh, 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 shallow and unfair uh, assumption okay. about, a, about a very rich, deep text.